let's now talk about how you can effectively expand your online shop by incorporating reselling and rebranding considering your limited resources and knowledge while relying on your passion. So that was Ella's question. And do you have the same question as well? Let me give you the tips I gave Ella. And let me share with you one thing I discovered from the 20 more businesses that we failed in, which made us get into a huge, huge debt. And this lesson is never, never start a business from a profitable product or service alone. So Ella was on the right path. She wanted to be a reseller and a rebrander of something that she is passionate about. Now, these are the ingredients of a successful business idea. It must be something that you are passionate about and which you are or can be good at. At the same time, though, people must have a need for your product or service and must be willing to pay you for it. Now, this is what I term as your business calling. And if you need help to find out about what your business calling is, do comment below and we will send you the details of our Discover Your Business Calling coaching program. Going back, once you've determined your business calling, here are five simple tips to help you expand your online shop by incorporating reselling and rebranding, considering your limited resources and knowledge about these topics. Number one, find popular products. Research and look for products that people like and want to buy. Focus on items that you are passionate about and that have the potential to make a profit when you resell them. Tip number two, get the products at good prices. You see, when we were kids, there was no such thing as fixed prices. Everything was negotiable and bargaining was an art that everyone knew how to do. That was a long time ago because pretty soon as we were growing up, the concept of fixed price was introduced produced by bigger stores like department stores. And this has become the norm, especially for bigger stores where customers no longer have access to the store owners. So be always on the lookout for wholesale discounts and places that offer wholesale prices. Some of them might not be even on Google. So you really need to do some legwork. Now, tip number three, make your shop unique. Whether you have an online shop or a physical store, this tip will always work for you. Create a special identity for your shop that your customers will recognize from afar. Think of a catchy name and design a logo that represents your business. This will make your shop stand out and attract more customers. Tip number four, tell people about your shop. Always effective way is to ask your friends and family and neighbors to help you spread the word as well so that more people will know about you. And last but not the least, tip number five, learn from others. So you might be asking, Mommy N is copying bad? And I would say, of course, only in school. In fact, this is what school teaches us that does not help our kids develop into good entrepreneurs. As business owners, we have to constantly look at what successful shops are doing and learn from them. We have to see how they present their products, write their descriptions, and interact with customers. This can help give you ideas and inspiration on how to improve your own shop. So remember, growing your online shop takes time and effort. Stay passionate, be patient, and keep learning along the way. Yeah.